across. These are all the front front of it. And I want to try to select the back. So I'm going to double check things here in this window and see where it's locking. OK, it's left the back. It's given me the full front, so that's good. So I'll move those. Mm. It hasn't locked in that last one. So I'm going to drag select across all of these to multiple select shells and drag it across. So that's now the back of the gun and this is the front of the gun which I think is fine. You notice also that I've got a little bit left there and this is the inside of the barrel section. In fact the barrel is going to break out from there um, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay I'm just going to do this side bit here now this is a little bit more difficult. So set your faces again. Um, by the way, I'm holding the shift to, to select. And we're going to go in the Y, but I'm going to do a little bit of transformation on the map. So plane our map in, I'm going to put it into the Y and project it. Now I'm going to press this little T that I've got here. And I'm going to click this, and then I'm going to take the green one there and I'm going to turn it at the same angle hopefully the same angle as our model well, that's about right that's good yeah it's reduced it in size a bit but that's fine right bring up the texture map again and this time UVs once again R on your keyboard to scale and reduce this down. You'll see the checkers get a bit bigger. Double you on your keyboard and we'll move it down here just out of the way. In fact, to put it on this side, I'll select this shell as well. Just move them. It's good to keep them all nicely moved. Okay now we've got the barrel to do next so minimize this. So we're coming on we've done all the sides, the tops, um, the bottom. The bottom looks a bit weird. I might need to do that again. Something's gone wrong. So we're now going to select the side view um, and select across here like that so I selected the whole barrel and now I'm going to cylindrical map it so I'm going to go to cylindrical mapping just hit that press the T because we're going to need to move this and we're going to that's a bit out that's better make sure in the rotation Z we've got minus 90 in there and everything else should be fine yep that's all fine now if I go back into my UV editor it's squashed it all out I'm just going to bring this up in size a bit so you can see what's going on ok look that's huge it's taken the inner and the outer cylinder so I'm select the UVs here and here and go select shell press the R and scale it all down check it against the model to see if you need to be a bit smaller they do a little bit bit bigger so a bit smaller on the map and lastly I'm going to rotate it and you can use this tool here just to do a clockwise rotation then I'm going to zoom in again and I'm going to break the inner barrel away from the outer barrel so select one of the UVs select shell and I'll just move this up and there you go that's the inner part of the barrel which I've now separated from the outer part. 
And that, I think, is about it. Apart from a couple of bits that have gone a little bit out the way. I'm just going to select this face again, because this bottom area has gone a bit mad. That's a Y. So create UVs, planar mapping, on the Y project. If I look at it now, that's fine. It's a bit bigger on the texture map. So there we have it. I'm going to select these UVs like so. Select the shell. Press R on the keyboard and just scale this down. Hopefully. That's not bad. And w, and that's for the bottom of the gun. That's for the bottom of the gun area which I'll put down here. I've also got this bit here. You get the idea though, we're sort of breaking it all apart. There's another little map in there. Select the shell for this. And I will reduce the shell right down. It's about right. W. Bring it down here. It's the button area. Actually, put it. I might put it over here just to put it out of the way. It doesn't matter. So what you're looking at is to split your model up, like I've done here into the minimum amount of bits that you can put it into, which is what I've done. Some people break everything apart. I see no point in that, um, in this model. And try and get it looking like this. Now in the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to sew all the parts together and uh, lay it all out. And then we'll uh, export a UV snapshot, which we can then uh, edit in Photoshop and start putting colors in, bump maps, and making this simple model um, quite a bit more detailed. You'll be surprised at what you can do just with, with using Photoshop. Okay, see you in the next lesson.